Okay, so we're just checking in. We come to church every Sunday to get a boost. Yep. Some Amen. people are just maybe lost. We're going to boost them. Yep. But if we're not lost, we're going to boost each Amen. other in celebration and praise. Amen. 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 So here goes some talking stuff here. So um, I'm a veteran. So this is... Um, in their words, this kind of gets everything for me. So the subjective experience is this sufficient for a positive spirit. So this is talking about military sexual trauma, but it's every day. This is what we go through every day. Amen. Okay? Okay, so perpetrators can be anyone, men or women, military personnel, civilians, strangers, friends, or intimate partners. Examples of MST include a wide range of unwanted sexual experiences. But it doesn't have to be sexual. It's just an unwanted experience is what we're talking about as brothers and sisters in Christ. Okay, so it could be offensive behavior. It could be just remarks. It could be attention, um, touching, anything that occurs to you that you don't want to happen. Amen. Okay? So if you're unable to refuse, um, if you're coerced into compliance, um, physical force doesn't have anything to do with this. Just because you uh, comply doesn't mean that you gave your consent. All right. So, when we, um, so this is just another point to get, get into your mind right now. So, um, prejudice is preconceived opinion that is not based on reason or actual experience. Okay? So most African Americans are descendant of Africans forcibly brought and held captive in the United States from 1955 to 1865. So, Black History Month was originally a week. And now it became a month. So it evolved. Okay? So these are just points. It may not be concise or con what's that other word? Um, but the cohesiveness is going to be brought together by you in your own mind as you're working to think about the things that I'm telling you. So right now I'm expecting that we're having a conversation, even though you can't talk back to me, we're having this conversation because the Spirit of God is in here and we're trying to boost and understand each other. Okay? So here's one point that I thought was, you know, I didn't even realize it myself. So originally established to educate free slaves to read and write, the first of the historical black colleges and universities was Cheney, C-H-E-Y-N-E-Y. -E -E Don't know if I'm saying it right. It's a university in Pennsylvania. It was established in 1837. Okay, so you get the point here, right? The thing I wanted to bring that bring that to you because Jewish Americans were the professors at that time. Okay? And Christianity was brought to the slaves at that time to get them to basically be obedient. But there's a line in the Bible there that says that if I'm obedient to you, you're going to treat me right. All right. Okay, so I brought my Bible today because that's kind of what we did as I was growing up. Mm. My grandmother started many different churches as, you know, one faded and she started another. It wasn't because she didn't like that church. It was just the evolution of stuff. We always brought our Bibles until today. <laughs> if I go home, where's your Bible? Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but I was going to say, where's everybody's phone? <laughs> <laughs> I know you guys have a phone in here, and the Bible app is there, right? Okay. So, um, what I'm saying to you is to avoid the Jim Jones effect. Does everybody remember that? Okay, so he took his Bible and threw it on the floor. And he said, don't believe these 5,000 lies or whatever it was in there. I'm telling you, make up your own mind. Oh, yes. Believe and, and serve and have your own relationship because that's what God glorified in slavery. And not necessarily slavery, but the use of people 
and we just happen to be one of those groups that they have labeled because God's persecute God's people are persecuted. We just said heard that. Um, let's see, let me go to another one. So in Hosanna four six, you got my people are destroyed from a lack of knowledge. Okay, let's not have that happen to us. We need to go out and find out for ourselves. We need to be sure in our hearts that that's what we're doing and we're not doing it maliciously. So, um, what I'm, I'm big on like noticing parables and how they are affecting in our everyday lives. So this is what I'm, I'm saying to you. A farmer went out and planted some seeds. As he scattered them across the field, some seeds fell on a footpath, and the birds came and ate them. Other seeds fell on a shallow soil with underlying, underlying rock. The seeds sprouted quickly, became the soil was shallow, because the soil, soil was shallow. But the plants soon wilted under the hot sun, and since they did not have deep roots, they died. Other seeds fell among thorns, that grew up and choked out the, the tender plants. Still other seeds fell on fertile soil and they produced a crop that was 30, 60, even 100 times as much as has been planted. Anyone with ears here should listen and understand. Amen. It's about understanding. Um, black Americans, History is our history. We're blacks in American history. History began, if you look in your Bible, and I think it's not necessarily the first page, but generation, Genesis chapter 1, verse 1. It says, let me read it for you. In the beginning, God created heaven and the earth. That's our history as it pertains to church in Christ. Everybody has a purpose, and God happens by us, through us, because of Him. So, if I'm shaking it up, I'm shaking it out, we're going to shake it off and give it to God. Yes. That's what I got to say.